All right, guys, so I'm just so excited to show to you my own Samsung S7 phone sporting the new Nougat 7.0 update. And I'm here to show to you, as you see already in the title, I think these are five, at least five of them are really secret features of the Nougat update. And... Uh, some of you may already know this, but you know if you have if you already know these things, yeah. So you already know it, but if you don't know it, know these things yet. So I'm here to teach you how. Okay, first up is when you slide down from the top. Of course, you get the notification, uh, bar, uh, you know the notification, right? And but there is no. You have to slide down again to show the the light, no, the the brightness, the brightness. Uh, controls what you can do so again when you just swipe once you can't adjust the brightness but when you um, pull it down twice then that's when you see the brightness control what you can do is is go back you swipe down and then here there is a beside the brightness control you can see that there's a drop down menu or an arrow down I can and then you can press that and then you can you just have to show control on top show the brightness control above the notification panel or yeah the notification panel so you just put that on okay just switch that on and voila there it is you can you can easily just control the brightness right there just uh, as you did in the marsh mallow in the Android marshmallow update yeah so that's it Next is let's go to messaging. So I really like this because you know when my wife Guada, you know, texts me or contacts me, and I I, I have to scroll down up uh, up and down in the list of the messages because I have to look for her name. What you can do is you can you know, you, you can do this. You can actually pin your favorite names or people. At the top of the list of the messages right so you go to the to the menu here of the, the top right top most right and then what you can do is down below there's a pin to top right so I already did that so what you can do is you click that pin to top and what happens is even if there have been new messages the one that you pin on top will be on top of course you know because and then you could see that you could see that pin to top icon on the name, you know, on the messaging of the name of the message, the message of uh, the contact that you pinned on the top. All right, so that's it. Next, let's go back. I don't know if you already know this, but you can actually change the colors of of the when you have folders, right? So if, if if you see there I'm under Samsung Notes, the the color of the folder is orange. Then beside it is blue, light blue, and then beside it is green. What you can do is you simply go to the folder and then at the right, top right, you can see like a, a an easel or a painter's uh, palette, right? So just click that, and then there are actually only five colors. I don't know, no, you, you can't add anything, so anything more to it, so. That's it, so you can just choose that. That is one tip that I really, really love, okay? Then, another thing is, where is it? Yeah. Another thing is, go to settings. Let me go to settings now. There, that's settings. And I, I, I know you already know this, but I just have to uh, share it to you guys, okay? So, what you can do is go to the, uh, what is this? go to device maintenance and then go to performance mode once it's performance mode you can actually uh, optimize the ba the battery life and choose gaming entertainment and high performance and of course this will affect the battery life of your device okay so uh, I always always want to have this optimized as recommended okay and then what you can do is go to display, right? The display is the, f the fourth settings on the, on the list. Go to display, 
and now finally you can actually choose go to sc um, under a uh, below screen mode you can go to screen resolution you can actually now change the resolution of your device and when you change your resolutions you can you can control and help in lengthening the life of your battery per charge if you choose uh, WQHD you know it will eat a lot of, of battery from your device but it will also show you an amazing really an amazing screen right and if you choose HD it, it is the the one that gives you the most battery life but it's just HD so since the device itself on uh, Samsung S7 under Nougat suggests that this is optimized already and when I check this it was set at full HD 1920 by 1080 so you can always choose to go HD but you know it will affect how your screen looks so yeah that that's what you do okay so let's click apply there and then the blue light filter this is one of the things that I really was excited about because research has shown, and I, I know you know this already, but research has shown that blue light actually makes you uh, awake. So what you can do is uh, turn that on and, you know, that's it. You can always access that here in the, there, in the notification panel. And another one, the notification panel, is that you can actually control the notification settings just by sliding the notification items in the panel, right? So you can do that. And just, if you do that, if you swipe all the way, it just deletes the not notification from the panel. But if you just slide it a bit like that and then you, you release it, then you can click the settings icon and then it will show you the setting notification settings for that particular app and then let's go now to one of the things that i i'm also very happy about is go to display and let's go to always on display and what you can do now with the always on display so you can change colors go to layouts and then for example this one and then below there are already two other uh, options you can choose the color for example like that and then it changes colors right and then there's like gradients and everything I like the blue one and then the background you can always change the background like that I, I think this already has it uh, in the recent update of, of marshmallow but I love it now that it's in nougat okay so let's apply it with the other one yeah I think this is it yeah and then let's apply it what else what else can I show you guys uh, by the way, in the notification panel, uh, no, sorry, always on display, you can actually double click on the, you can always double click on the icons on the notification in the always on display. Sorry, I'm just really, you know, excited in speaking. So when you double click it, it will show you the notification. Let's try that here. Okay. Let's try that. Well, it's not there. Yeah always on display come on there so it's you can see there right so yes uh, I just tried it and it does work when you double click on the icon notification icon while it's on what while your phone is in standby and you sh you see the always on display you can double click on that icon whichever you want and then it will just open it but you still need your fingerprint to or whatever um, password you you have to do and share so that you could open the notification so I think that's it you guys and I um, this is not in any way a video on secrets because I don't know really all the secrets of, of the new gut but uh, I just really want to show you this one because I'm, I really love it I've been waiting for the new gut update so yeah let's go to about device and then let's go to software info and then let's click on this and yes it's new gut and I love it there and then let's go to the cat where is the cat where are you cat Ta -da. there it is okay so that's it you guys I thought I hope that you enjoy this little 
video, this short video on the things that I find very interesting in the NuGut update. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you update your phone. Thank you so much Samsung for finally giving the OTA of the NuGut update for the Philippines in Cebu. I'm so happy. I'm one happy camper and you know, I know that the S8 is coming up but I think I don't think I will be buying it because number one, uh, I still uh, I still have a contract for for my for for my uh, for my Globe subscription. But definitely, when S nine comes up, and definitely, I'm really eyeing eyeing at the Note Note nine. So yeah, but I'm really excited with the S eight. I I'm how I'm hoping Samsung really gives us a lot more, you know, and I'm sure they're gonna give that. So yeah. This phone, my phone now, Samsung S7, Galaxy S7, feels like a really, really new phone now that it's updated to Android Nougat. Thank you so much and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.